Having worked as a, a parish priest for the past 12 years and before that leading a church in a pub in South London for 10 years, uh, I've spent a lot of time with people who don't ever come near church. And this has convinced me that quite often religion, God perhaps, is in the wrong people's hands, you know, in the hands of people who are the, you know, almost professional churchgoers, whereas there are a lot of people out there who never, they're never going to come near a church. And yet I think God is part of their lives and they do have a sort of spiritual life and they're on a spiritual journey, but, but often don't have the words to articulate that or the concept, you know, the ideas to, to sort of build around it. So it's a bit vague. So my book, I think, is trying to give people um, language and ideas that can give some shape and form to, to a spirituality that they already have rather than something that I'm trying to introduce to them. I mean, there's people like Kay who lives in the parish. She's a single mother uh, living on social benefit. She's got nothing, really. She lives in socially, uh, social housing. But her house is continually full of all the local waifs and strays she can find. I mean, Sunday dinner there is a pack out. Uh, and, and so she picks up all these waifs and strays and feeds them and stuff. Now, she's someone who she said to me, Dave, church isn't for me. You know, this is my church here. And I don't think she'll ever appear at church. But, you know, I think that God is so evident in her life. Or someone like Greg, who is a, a, a caretaker for a block of flats just around the corner from where I live. Um, as well as being a caretaker, he doubles up as, as, a, as a carer for elderly people in those blocks of flats. And, um, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't get paid to do this, he doesn't have to do it. But these are people, uh, and there are lots of them, who, who are never going to come near church. But I think that God is in their lives. And, you know, I think that I'm writing this book very definitely for those sort of people, to try to give some shape and form to a faith that they may not even self-consciously think that they have. I think that an awful lot of Christianity tends to be shaped around a sort of are you in or are you out sort of mentality, the innies and outies. And uh, so a lot of concentration is given on trying to get people to come from outside to inside. And what I'm saying in this book is I've come to the conclusion that's, that's the wrong objective that God doesn't look at people as to whether they're in or out of the God club, you know. Uh, God is in people's lives whether or not they come to church, whether or not they sort of believe certain doctrines or dogma or whatever. And so I think it's, it's getting away from, from this sort of in and out mentality to sort of seeing that, that people are often on a, on a way, they're on a, they're on a journey, uh, which I think is toward God, uh, but they may not necessarily use that language to talk about it. I think the response I get to the book is the response I get to people when I meet them just in the ordinary, you know, my ordinary work as a parish priest, you know. The people are a bit shocked when they find this is, this is a vicar who uses language that they use, you know, who speaks French like they do. Uh, or someone who, you know, I, I often find people say to me, you're not like a vicar, Dave, you're like one of us. Um, now, some Christians may take that as a bit of an insult. I take it as an enormous compliment. Uh, because isn't that what Jesus was all about? He was someone who came and he offended and upset the religious sort of institution of his time, but he was loved by the common people. It says this again and again in the Gospels. He spent his time with people who were not the sort of churchgoers or the synagogue goers, synagogue goers of the day. Um, and these were people that, that the religious people looked upon as being unclean, as being sort of outsiders. Uh, whereas Jesus said, well, that's who I am. That's where I am. He, 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 he became unclean, if you like, with them. Because Jesus didn't have those kind of categories. <laughs>